Hello everyone, we build this game Cryptomon, which is a blockchain and NFT based Pokemon battle game. So the first thing that we want to talk about is why we need blockchain for a Pokemon battle game. Uh, the first reason is that it offers decentralization. It uh, does not give the authority uh, any power to change the rules of the game according to their liking and also removes any kind of insider bias regarding the algorithm of the game. The second reason is the safety of in-game assets. We always hear uh, cases of in-game assets going missing in games like PUBG or GTA, uh, which is a big no-no uh, because these uh, assets are purchased with real money and that is not possible on blockchain owing to its immutable nature. Blockchain is also anti-DDoS by architecture, especially the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, hackers cannot clog your network by issuing a DDoS attack on your game. Forgery is not possible on blockchain, so you might have heard cases of paintings or limited edition cards being forged, but that is not possible on blockchain and you can prove that uh, a certain rare item is actually rare and you are the actual owner of that rare item. Now let's look into the algorithm of the game and how it actually works. So the factors that determine the winner of the game are the rating, the XP of the Cryptomon, the type of the Cryptomon and a small factor of randomness. So let's say uh, there are two Cryptomon, Mon1 and Mon2. Mon1 has a rating of 100, 2 has a rating of 2. And as you can see, evidently there is a huge gap in the rating. But there is a 2% chance that Mon1 will still lose uh, owing to the randomness factor. Now let's bring down this gap a bit. So let's say Mon1 has a rating of 80, the second one has a rating of 10. Now there is a 15% chance that Mon1 will still lose, even though this gap is quite evidently huge. Now bringing the gap even further down, let's say Mon1 has a rating of 70 and Mon2 has a rating of 40. Now there is a 35% chance that Mon1 will still lose, even though there is a small gap between the ratings. And if the ratings are equal at 60 and 60, there is a 50% chance that Mon1 will still lose because if the ratings are equal, then randomness is the only factor which will come into play. So what we want to show by this is um, as the gap between the rating increases, the randomness factor decreases and it will only depend. It will depend more on the rating and the type of the Pokemon. But if the ratings are equivalent, then randomness will have a huge role to play in, the, in determining the winner of the game. Okay, so moving to the demo, the first screen that the user sees is a sign up screen. They just have to enter their name. Let's say I enter John Doe and I click on sign up. The MetaMask window is going to pop up where you have to confirm your transaction. And once that's done, within a few seconds, maybe five to six seconds, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. It takes a while because uh, blockchain transactions have to be relayed throughout the network. And that's a time taking operation. And uh, in just a moment, we should be redirected to our dashboard where we can open our first set of Cryptomon cards. Okay, it's here now and I can just open this. And as you can see, I have a set of five random Cryptomons. And one of these Cryptomons, the first one, is a rare and shiny card which has an XP higher than the other ones. and the speciality about this card is that there are only 200 of these available in the whole game and since this asset is on blockchain you can prove that it is rare and you are the owner of it and now if you want to battle other people you have to select a cryptomon i have selected Growlithe, and clicking on the battlefield icon uh, you just have to confirm another transaction once that transaction is sent through you will be taken to a lobby where you can see a list of other players who are also ready to battle. So I have my friends over here. Ravisha is online. So Ravisha, can you please challenge me? I am with the account John Doe. Okay, so once Ravisha's transaction goes through the network, I should be able to see a pop-up on my screen saying that uh, she has challenged me. Yep, I have an incoming challenge and I can accept the challenge. Uh, just confirm the transaction of acceptance. And once my transaction goes through as well, I will be redirected to the battle screen where we can see the live battle which is going on. So she has chosen her Crypto One Caterpie and mine is Growlithe. And the backend algorithm is running, uh, uh, well, the backend is running the algorithm to check who is winning. You can see the status below. And looks like Caterpie won and 
will be redirected to the lobby page once that's done. And as you can see, my loss count is increased because I just lost the battle. And Ravisha's win count might have increased as well, as well as her Pokemon's XP would have increased. So yeah, that's about Cryptomon. Hope you liked it. Thank you.